stopping any catastrophe from For happening. Sure. And it what? would be a catastrophe metal on metal. Lisa, we're here at Bielefeld in Germany, um, one of the Starag Group's factories. You're standing under um, what can only be described as a huge uh, table on this, on this vertical mill-turn, multitasking machine. Uh, we're going to be talking about hydrostatic guideways. Now, um, what, what does that mean to start with? Well, I would expect most people watching this will think of a machining centre that would have a, a linear guide rail and a roller pack system. Um, what a hydrostatic guideway is, is a metal oil metal system so you've effectively got two metallic parts only separated by a, a thin film of oil around 30 microns thick now this machine behind us is an 11 meter table uh, turning table then we've got uh, what can only be described as a, as a bridge here two columns huge working envelope multitasking machine does every driven axis on this machine have a hydrostatic guideway? Is, is, is that how it works? On this machine, yes. Even the rotating table has a hydro, hydrostatic guideway system. Right, okay. Now, this oil running down the column here, that's not a leak, is it? That's it's for not a purpose. A leak. That's so part of the system. Describe what's happening. So, so what happens is, is we, we, we pump oil to the guideways into a, a system of pockets, if you like, that support the various parts of the machine. Um, what Starag have is a fairly recently, in recent years, we've designed a, an advanced hydrostatic system. Nobody else uses this, where we have complete control of the displacement of the machine where weight is, is applied. So if you like, um, if you put a weight on a, on a part of the machine, you're displacing the oil. It's only 30 microns thick to start with. But if you displace that oil by a few microns, then you've got a column that's 10 metres high. At the top of that 10 metres, you've got a a geometry error. So you're controlling, you're saying there's about 0.3 point between... 0.03. 0.03, sorry, which is about the thickness of a, a hair, if you exactly. had some. Your head, uh, yeah, just, just thinner have, than that. Uh, I haven't so, got many either. So you're controlling that across the whole of the, the surface, are you? Of when? On all surfaces. OK, now how much oil does a machine like this need then in order to satisfy every single axis? Well, you can see behind me how big the tank is. Um, in comparative terms, there's as much oil being pumped around this system as there are in over 300 uh, average sized cars, if you like. Wow, that's, that's a lot. It's a lot of oil. Now, what about the, the fail safes as well, though? I mean, let's imagine a machine like this was to have a power cut. You don't want to, to lose that oil or stop that oil being pumped to then have two mating metal surfaces, do you? That'd be, that'd be a catastrophe. Do you know what? That's a really interesting question, because if that were to happen, then you'd have no pumping of oil and you'd have two metallic surfaces binding each other. Because if this table's rotating at 20 revs, you, you've got to, it's got to stop. It's going, it's going to take a few seconds to, uh, to, to, to slow down. What actually happens in that instance is we take the kinetic energy from the rotation of the table, we convert that to drive the drive motors or turn the drive motors into generators and we produce the power to then supply the oil to the relevant parts of the machine whilst it's going through through that emergency stop process. Okay, so no, no you're, you're stopping any catastrophe from For happening. Sure. And quite, it would be a catastrophe metal on metal. Quite a novel and unique thing. Uh, thank you very much, Lee. Great insight into hydrostatic guideways. No problem, thank you.